Yeah, hi, Louise. Hi there, Fiona. It was all to do with location, location, location today. Just look at this in Cumbria. The cows enjoying beautiful blue skies and sunshine. Lucky them. Different story, though, just to the east of the Pennines in the glorious city of York. It was rather overcast and it probably felt a little chillier as well. The reason for that, all to do with the wind direction. This northeasterly breeze driving the cloud in off the North Sea it was also responsible for producing one or two showers as well. Those showers will start to fade away through this evening. Still one or two nuisance ones continuing overnight where we saw the sunshine yet again you know what i'm going to say under those clear skies the temperatures will fall away we're likely to see some frost potentially some patchy fog as well so a chilly autumnal murky start here to the northwest the frost and fog lifting to some sunshine yet again but the wind if anything will strengthen a little more across those north sea coasts and we're likely to see further showers drifting in anywhere really from newcastle down into scarborough skegness i'm sorry but it will feel rather cool and disappointing in those showers. Some of the showers filtering inland to Lincolnshire, perhaps into the East Midlands. And as we push down towards East Anglia and the extreme southeast across the Kent coast, some of those showers could be quite heavy, as much as 10 to 20 millimetres if you catch one or two frequent sharp ones. But temperatures 11 to 14 degrees, so a degree down on where they should be for this time of year. The high pressure starts to relinquish its grip just a little on Thursday. That means it's going to allow this weather front to push into the northwest, bringing more cloud and rain still the risk of some showers into the southeast but sandwiched in between the two again a good deal of dry quiet weather although the potential may be on Thursday of a little more cloud around as well so it's a quiet end to our week but with the high pressure at this time of year it's never straightforward we're likely to continue to see some showers in the east and at times feeling a little disappointing Fiona Louise thanks very much and that's all from the BBC